Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four, ranging from 16 down to a three year old, and we live as a family of six in the southeast of England. I hope you're all well and enjoying the lovely weather we are having. Um, today, I am trying something new. We are in my bedroom and I do have a home bargains haul for you. Nothing new there because I love home bargains and B&M. But I'm trying to record it a bit differently for you to see if you guys prefer me doing it like this or if you'd prefer it the original way of me laying it out on my kitchen counter and showing you what I've bought that way. So please write down in the comments below which way you prefer or if you like a mixture then just let me know. I'm more than happy to try and do that for you. Obviously it depends on the children because like I said I do have four children. I try not to put them on the camera but if they walk behind or in front of then that I can't control that. And obviously having a three year old he waddles around the house so he might pop his head in. He's having a pyjama day today so he's a bit of a, me in a, bit of a mess. He won't let me brush his hair. I'm in my lounge suit so um, that's why I look a bit like this. Um, but yeah, home bargains haul. I've got it here for you, and um, let's get in on. Let's get on and show you what I bought from home bargains. Let's get that right, shall we? Let me just sort my hair out because it's annoying me. Right, first of all, we have some kitchen roll because I use this when I've wiped all the counters down. I like to dry them so they don't look smeary, and I use that. We have oh, some evergreen complete four in one grass feed and it kills the moss in the garden. We've got a lot of moss in our grass and I think this is like the third box of moss killing stuff that we bought over the last month or so because there was such a large amount of grass or grass patch. It's a moss patch at the moment and these boxes don't go very far. But they do work they are killing the moss and you can tell where we have been and it gives the grass chance to grow back through so that is why we've got another box of that and steve's going to go put that out when i finish recording this chewing gum for the car we always keep chewing gum and mints in the car so that we prevent bad bad breath in faces and um Shane has a train track and um, with his autism he doesn't brush his teeth as well as he could so we always make sure we have mints in the car for him. Sorry Shane but it's true, he knows it. <laughs> We've got a bottle of Whiz, this kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria in your washing machine with all your washing. I always put a, three caps of this in with my washing because I use, I try and keep it a cool wash at 30 and then if I use this at least I know I'm killing all the nasty germs that are about and I always get a few bottles when I do go there because it's not always in stock so I've got one, two three I get the other one four, there we go so they are going to go in my utility room, ready for me when I do my washing. We have some cheese and onion crinklies. These go in the snack cupboard for pat lunches. I try not to get the kids to have these during um, weekends and half term because they are portion controlled, but they're in packets. For when we're at home, I like to buy the big packets and then just put some out on their plate rather than keep lo using loads of packaging, if that makes sense. For pat lunches, that's what they're for. And then we've got Russell Russell. Sorry, it's a big bag that's been put in. We've got two mug shots in the roast chicken flavour for Chloe. She likes these for a nice little lunch. And I think they're the cheapest around. I mean, Aldi do their own version. But for the actual mugshot brand, um, Home Bargains is the cheapest. Hang on a minute, Nate. Mummy nearly done. 
Steve put some Foxy's Crunch Crunchy Creams in there. Don't know if you've got a glare because I've put you right in front of the window so that the sun shines through. So um, there's a twin pack there for him. I don't like them. Mm -mm. Although I'm pretty sure Nathan probably would. Some Brill Cream for Steve's hair. He's finally run out of his supply and he needed some new ones. Another pot of chewing gum. Like a lucky dip this is. Got these cute little um, bath bombs. Let's see if I can get a better photo. There we go. These are for Hayley's birthday. Her birthday is next week. And um, we still don't know what her main birthday present is because she hasn't named it. Um, the two older ones have had mobile phones for their 11th birthday. But she's not quite mature enough for a mobile phone with her autism she's quite she's like a year and a half to two years behind with a bit of common sense so um but then again she is going to be going in a taxi to her new school so i would rather have her have her have a mobile phone so that if i need to get hold of her on route then i can so we've really got to think long and hard if she's mature enough and ready for a mobile phone or not but in the meantime, I like to pick her up some little bits that I know she's going to like. And I know she loves bath bombs. So I'll pick them up for her. And then, what have we got here? Oh, I thought this would be great for all the kids. They're Haru Paribo and they're Axolots. You know the little fish? There's a picture. The little fish with the gills that went through the big phase of, uh, a couple of months back. They've now brought out a sweet like it. And um, I thought we'd um, share them while watching a film later. Hair clip for me. So that when I have my hair down, rather than have a hairband around my wrist, I can just, um, you know, twisty, twisty, up it goes, out my way. So there we go. Got that. It was dead cheap. I just hope Nathan doesn't run off and break it like he normally does. He does like running off with my things. Um, we've got two bags of these Lotus Biscoff Kit Kat Bites. Again, I don't like Lotus Biscoff, so what, but my friends, my two besties, do. So in B&M, whenever I go there, they do some Lotus Biscoff products that my friends love. I always get a few whenever I go and then I keep them here and then whenever my friends come round, I give them a few bits. And um, this will go in the cupboard ready for when they next come round or when I next see them as a nice little treat and a, as a nice little gesture really to show them that I appreciate how much their friendship means to me. So that was them. Then I have two packets. Oh of microwave rice i do normally buy the um 49p microwave rices from aldi and lidl and tesco's and like that but here they're actually two little pots and they're actually they are so i said actually a lot they are one person portions so you don't need to open the packet because those those 45p ones are actually two portions and it can be a pain in the bum when you're trying to um, portion control your diet like I am. Whereas these, that is one portion. So all I've got to do is cook that little pot. Oh, let's get it out. There we go. So that is one portion of rice for me, which would be absolutely great. And I don't have to cook the whole packet. I've got one basmati and then one long grain, which is absolutely great. Same as if you're... Um, a single person household these would be great for you as well because then you um haven't got to cook a whole lot of rice and if you can't be bothered to cook a whole lot of rice for yourself then you've just got that simple just microwave it only takes 60 seconds and a lot of my subscribers are just um single people nothing wrong with that sometimes i'm tired of single <laughs> You know, just, just when you've had a long day and you just want to be left alone and have peace and quiet. No no 
conversation, no nothing, you just want to be left alone. Yeah, I have days like that sometimes. Don't get the peace and quiet and be left alone, because once the kid's in bed, I've still got Steve about. <laughs> um, something that's new, we have these Kit Kat Pops, which I'm looking forward to. They're only 39p, so I've picked up two, and they look so, so cute. Again, little portion bags, which is great, but for one bag, it's 208 calories, so I will have to... Um, Make sure I only stick with one bag rather than two. There we go. Then we have, we had Nathan with us and he spotted these cute little rabbits, part of the Easter range that was ending. So um, we got him them, he's just going to play with them. He doesn't care whether they're Easter or not. Then we have some tins of Smints. Let's bring them closer for you so you can see. Can you see? There we go. These are what go in the car for Shane. I put one in the car and then I give him one so that he can take it to school with him. Then we have a bottle of bold gel in the Spring Awakening. I am transitioning from using capsules, you know, the tablets, to gel and powder because I don't know what the companies have done, whether they've actually done something or not. But the last... God knows, six, seven times I've used the tab, the gel tablets. They've not dissolved. They've clogged up in my washing and then they've just kind of gone like jelly on the clothes. So I've had to rewash those clothes anyway. So, um, so far so good. I've not had that trouble with the liquid or the tap with the powder. So that is what I'm transitioning to. Not as easy for me to get the kids to put a load of washing on for me on my bad days because they will fill this cap right to the top, make it ooze over and make a big mess. But um, we'll just have to try and work around that or just deal with the mess on the bad days that I can't load the washing machine. Then we've got two more items left. I'm gonna throw that bag on the floor. We've got Nathan, some kids two-in-one shampoo and conditioner in the mango fragrance. This is to go in his bath box that I'm sorting out. All the family members in my house now are having their individual box with all their toiletries in because I'm getting fed up with finding everyone's toiletries everywhere. And Nathan's even got his own little box with his toothbrush, his toothpaste, his um, sponge because he doesn't use a scrunchie and then his shampoos, conditioners and um, bubble bath. But... For anyone that has seen Nathan in bits of my video, he is gorgeous. He's got blonde hair and it's quite long. It is to about his shoulder now, but he has curls. Granted, they are starting to drop out a little bit, but I'm in a right dilemma. People are telling me now he needs it cut. He needs a boy haircut. Um, the curls are dropping out. He, he needs a boy haircut. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to or not because he's got the lovely bleach blonde hair. He could pull off the surfer look, you know, the um, California surfer dude look with the, with the hair. But um, I don't know if I have his hair cut, whether I'm absolutely gonna hate it and I'm not gonna be able to get, let it regrow back. Plus it's kind of his baby hair as well, really. What do you guys think? Should I listen to people, including Steve, because he wants him to have a haircut as well. My mum used to help me defend Nathan and keep his curls, but now they're, they're dropping out. So maybe I should. I just can't imagine him looking with a different color, different hairstyle. It's quite scary, really, isn't it? But um, for now, he used shampoo and conditioner to keep the um, nice silkiness of his hair. And then Steve put four Mars bars in the um, basket as well. So... That is everything from Home Bargains. Not exactly anything special and exciting this time, but still I thought I would take the opportunity to practice being in front of the camera and seeing what you guys think about it. So, if you did like this video, like this. Again, like I said at the beginning, please comment down below if you wanna see videos like this now or a mixture of both or you'd prefer the other type. And, um, 
if you are new here please consider subscribing it really does mean a lot to me and it helps my channel grow so so much and then if you do decide to subscribe hit the notification bell that's next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check on Nathan to make sure he's not destroying the house I'm joking the, the two big ones are out there as well um, take care and I hope to see you again soon bye